And hey, I'm Jeff Baumgartner with Light Reading Cable, and I'm pleased to be joined by Maria Dillard with AT&T. So Maria, we're here at Telco TV. We're going to be talking a lot about video applications. So maybe give us a little bit of an update in terms of um, you know, some of the activities you have going on with, with applications for the TV as well as second screens. Okay, sure. Um, today for AT&T, we have over 30 applications that we have actually placed on the television. And the interactivity that we're seeing with the customers with those different applications is, uh, is growing uh, significantly. And so what we're able to do now is look at uh, event-based. We see a lot of interaction and engagement with our customers on event-based applications. So I'll give you an example of the Olympics app that we had uh, during the Olympics. It had uh, more than three quarters of a million hours of usage just in that short period of time. And that type of application is extremely beneficial for us and the customers, because the customers can do whatever they want with it, right? They're watching TV, um, they can actually trigger right into the application, still be watching their content that they want to look at, but then gives them an ability to look at other things about that event. So their favorite sport that was taking place, a bio on an athlete, and that's the, the great interaction and engagement we're seeing with the customers on a lot of the TV apps. Um, our multi-view application that we have on the TV, we last year actually gave the customers the ability to personalize a multi-view so they can go look at whatever channels they want to watch and they put them in their favorites and then they have their own My Multi-View that they can pull up at any given time. Those are just a couple of examples of applications on the TV. Um, Facebook we recently launched, a little skeptical looking at that one, do customers yeah. really want to look at TV with Facebook right, you it's know, more around a it. Thing. Exactly, yeah. but we mm -hmm. are seeing some engagement there. Okay. So that's the applications on the TV, and then one of the things that we're doing that is uh, unique to what we believe with our IP platform is now we're taking the wireless devices in the home that a customer is using because, face it, everyone is not just watching TV, but they're doing things with their handsets or right, their so tablets. Yes, yeah, yeah. so, so now we can mm -hmm. take those, uh, those devices and pair them, actually sync them with a TV, and we are finding a lot of great benefit there for not just AT&T to innovate and use that app to interact with the TV. We can throw content to the TV very seamlessly for the customers. Uh, you can put pictures up. Uh, those are the type of things that we know we can enable. Not just that, but the remote control. We recently announced our Easy Remote, and that is a uh, development that our AT&T Foundry did and that application gives is really designed for hearing and vision loss customers but there's big buttons you can change the font size you can do some things and now you can also use speech recognition to talk through your device to the TV and it just automatically will make changes change channels and things of that nature so we're seeing engagement with uh, the different apps that we're using with AT&T and since you do have a lot of viewers now kind of sitting down with a tablet mm -hmm. or a smartphone when they're watching TV um, how are you guys kind of determining like which applications are best you know suited for the TV versus ones that are you know maybe just uh, kind of a synced up application for the uh, a tablet or some sort of uh, some sort of second screen? We're actually letting the customers help us make those decisions, right? So we watch the feedback from the customers and we can see the usage. Like I said for the Olympics app, the usage went drastically up, and so we know those are things that are probably better fit that on the TV as you're watching. Um, things that, you know, if I want to get a YouTube video, for example, and I'm looking at that on my device, that's probably more apt for us to give them that capability, which they already have, and then just pair it and throw that to the TV. So uh, more event-based is really what we see on the TV. Um, but, you know, the, the basics such as the weather, weather application, stocks, those type of things, uh, just putting a little the stock up there, that's always still good and that still stays on the TV. Um, but you can have event-based or other things such as uh, Cubs multi-view. We have a multi-view for that with different right. camera angles. That makes sense to have on the TV because then you have multiple screenshots that are all a part of the game um, on the TV. Okay. That's and just some examples. So applications, uh, you get more engagement with them you know, on the TV, on the second screen. Do you see it, you know, it's looking at how it kind of fits into your business. I mean, is it, you see these apps becoming you know, revenue generators or do you see it as kind of a retention tool and, and a way to, to keep uh, viewers engaged 
with your platform? We're actually seeing it um, in all of those in all of those areas. Um, our initial view is we are making all of these free, most of them free, free of charge. So it is a part of the experience, and customers can then engage more with the content, with social networking as they're watching the TV because we know that's what they're doing anyway. Let mm -hmm. them do it. Right. Um, so that is more of just. Um, making customers happy, keeping them engaged. And what we see, um, we are seeing really good take rates and customers that are engaged in using applications, uh, the churn rate is significantly lower. So we see uh, certainly better retention and we see a higher ARPU with these, these types of customers as well. Um, and the growth is there. So as we can differentiate our product with these applications and that seamless capability across devices, um, we see that as, uh, as a sales and a growth tool as well. All right, and last thing, you know, th th maybe there's some, a lot of applications that you're looking at on the horizon. Any, any um, particular types of applications you see out there that, that kind of excite you the most? I, I mentioned the applications that actually pair with the TV. So yeah. that is called Uverse Enabled for us. Okay. And that growth is, uh, we are using the third parties uh, to actually help us innovate. So there are very good things coming with that, but we know there's so much more because the developers have great ideas and they can engage the customers in a way that um, we may not even think about at at and We have a great at and foundry and developers, but um, the third parties have great ideas and we're going to use them to help us innovate for the platform and bring all sorts of things to the TV. Great. Well, Maria, thanks a lot for your time today. I really thank appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you.